connect with yourself because it's only in connecting with you, you have the full ability to connect with others. You are more than your present situation. Yes, you are. I understand what you're saying. I get it. And I know where you're coming from. But remember, you are more than your present situation. I will teach you how to recognize that and what to do with it because you are more than your present situation. My name is Tessa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will find the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when more videos of this nature are released. In this short video, I will give you some tips and some actions to take so that you are in the position to realize you're worthy and you're more than the situation that you're in right now. You see, number one, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, we were all taught that our responsibilities are to take care of others. It's very seldom that you will find someone who was raised to believe that they were worthy and that in order to live a fulfilled life and to be there for others, they must first take care of themselves. So you are not alone. This is an international situation where people are concerned. We are taught to serve, to honor, to respect, to give and give. And no one is telling us to give to us. So when you are overwhelmed because now your cup is empty and you have no idea how to fill it, let me give you a tip. And that is your life is your business. You are no use to anyone if you are in pain or if you are tortured or if you are stressed or if you suffer from anxiety or if you intellectually cannot recall the information that you know and apply it appropriately or your finances are low or your spiritual connection has left the city. And of course, emotionally, you are making decisions that are irrational and reckless. Yes, that's because you've given everything. We go through life thinking that everything that happens around us is us. It is not us. And you have to believe it. The real person, the situation around you is not inside of you unless you allow it to take. But when your body tells you, hey, or your mind or your headache or this, you need to stop and collect it. You know what I do? And I'll teach you this. When I feel something that's not right in my system, whether it's an ache or pain, something that's just not good, a headache or something that's just not feeling it, I go to eat and I say, what's up? What can I do to fix it? I acknowledge the message that you're giving me, that I am giving out too much and not taking any in. I apologize to you and let's fix this. Because I'm of no use to anyone if I'm no use to myself. So when your body has sent you messages, you're feeling foggy and all of this, stop and ask that fogginess, hey, what's causing this fogginess? Ask that pain in the back, in the leg, in the toe, has the stomach, what did I do? What can I do to fix it? Connect with yourself because it's only in connecting with you, you have the full ability to connect with others. It's connecting with you that makes you available to connect with people. If you do not know who you are and you're not realizing that all of this is not you, you will lose you. And when you lose yourself, you cannot help anybody else to find themselves. You do not have the tools. You're not equipped. You're weak. So spend some time in the situation you're in to realize it's outside of me. Sometimes we let something that we have no control of, for example, the weather, and we go and we lament about this weather. It, we are not the weather. We have no control about whether it snows, rain or sleet or ice or wind or hurricane or tornado. We cannot affect it. So therefore, we have to live inside of it, but not let it come inside of us. 
when we give all our time to surviving and making sure other people are maintained and we survive and we are constantly working on improving everybody and forgetting to improve us, we have lost the key to our life. We've got only one life. We got this one life. We have to put everything in it to make it worth living. It's best you have on your tombstone that man, did he or she love herself, loved her life. Because it's in loving you, I can, you can love me. In giving to you that you can give to me. It's no point that you empty all of you into others and you have nothing left for you. Then you will not be able to empty from an empty cup. If this video has given you an inclination of what I deliver, look over here. There's another one coming. And that's how you will live a fulfilled life by realizing I too, I do matter. And your situation is not you. Have a wonderful day.